I'm Amy Lee from amylee.com.au and in this edition of Amy Lee Online I'm going to show you how to easily batch edit your images in Lightroom. Okay, let's go. Today I want to talk to you about batch editing. Batch editing in Lightroom 4 is got to be one of the most powerful tools that Lightroom 4 has to offer. It makes for such easy adjustments and cataloging and batch editing and it really allows photographers to apply the same adjustment or even a series of adjustments on more than one image at a time and it still retains the ability to fine tune them after you've done that. Now there's many other programs on the market at the moment that can do and perform similar batch processing like Aperture or Adobe Camera Raw for example. Lightroom is kind of a personal preference of mine for this um, because of how you know how quickly you're able to do it. You know I like to keep my life organized as much as I possibly can and as a mother of five children that's really important for my time with my family that when I'm batch editing uh, I don't have to do one photo at a time and have the hassle of having to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth you know trying to edit one image correctly so to batch edit your photographs all you have to do is have go on to the folder that you'd like to edit okay click on your develop button at the top here it's the second on your menu bar click on the image that you'd like to start with your first batch edit now remember too that when you're batch editing a bunch of images, these images need to all be of a similar ISO, uh, you know, obviously same color. So that way when you're batch editing, you're going to get a very similar result with, with each image. If you select the image that you want to adjust in the album within the catalog of a library on the left of your screen, then all you have to do is highlight is go edit that image okay so I might just quickly go to a preset for the purpose of this exercise and let's say I want to go to one of these presets and I want to change let's do something dramatic so that you can see the difference so I've edited that into baby blue I don't particularly like what this has done to the image so I might go something else and there we go soft orchid is probably the better one now I could do a number of a, a range of adjustments here and uh, I could cut it I could uh, edit it and cut the image down a little bit um, I could do some work on the eyes, I could do some work on the exposure, up the exposure a little bit more, bring in some more contrast, I could go ahead and make my whites more white, things like that, uh, bring in a little bit more clarity and take away some shadows, I could do a lot of things in this image. So whatever I have actually done to that image is now going to be applied to each and every image down the bottom here. So all I have to do is go ahead and hold down shift and click the last image on my panel down the bottom and each image is is selected or you could do the long way and you could hold down command or control whichever you're using if you're using a PC it'd probably be control and then click each image individually then if you head over here to your sync button which is on the right hand side of your Lightroom panel and click sync this little box will come up and everything that's checked in here is what you want to for it to be you know corrected so anything that's in here extra that you have done in your right hand side panel that's not ticked here then go ahead and tick that so if you've given yourself a lens correction things like that you'd want to make sure that box is ticked for instance or you could just go check all and make sure everything's done that you've have done within here if you don't want to include the crop for instance that you've done on every image then just undo crop and the crop won't be included in the other images. Then all you have to do is click synchronize and watch the magic. Now as you can see each image has been changed to exactly what we did in the beginning 
as you can see, all of the images have been changed to exactly what you did in the first image. And you can tell that by your panel on the right hand side here. Everything's exactly the same. Obviously, I would take this image into Photoshop for further editing after I'm finished with my colouring, such as brightening eyes, taking away straggly hairs, um, maybe cleaning up just under the eyes a little bit, highlighting different parts of the face. You can individually go in and edit each one differently and take away certain things, add certain things, take away certain things, add some shadows, take away some shadows whichever way you'd like to go with that. And if you make a mistake or if you completely hate the edit on that particular image, all you have to do is go to that image and then click reset. It will take that image back to its raw format without damaging it whatsoever. And you can go through and you can then hit command and click on each one of them and sync back to reset and each image will be then reset back to its original format. As you can see, each one goes back. And that's it. That's how easy it is to batch edit all of your images in Lightroom quickly and easily for a really productive workflow. Now, if you have a question or a query and you would like me to answer them on Amy Lee Online, just feel free to put a comment below and I'll do everything I can to help you and answer those questions for you. As always, Subscribe to the channel to make sure you're notified of future videos coming up on this channel. So like, favorite, and if you enjoyed this video, you may also enjoy this video. And leave a comment, even if you don't have a question. I'm Amy Lee, and I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Until next time, remember, a vision without action is just a dream. And if you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy this video. <laughs> and no, that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs>